Hello everybody out there in social media land. It is your personal injury attorney, Derek Bernstein, here for another edition of Ask an Attorney Friday. And it is, of course, Friday, so we're all getting ready for the weekend and Father's Day coming up. So happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, especially mine, who's out in clear water, probably complaining about something, about it being too hot, but uh, still love them nonetheless. So today I was posed a question to get to talking about bad settlement offers or low settlements in general. So I have a top four reasons why I believe people get low settlement offers. I'm gonna go over them with you right now. So number one, having no representation at all. And a lot of people out there think, um, you know, they can be very smart at what they do. They're computer analyst or uh, teacher, doctor. And they say, you know what, I'm smart. I know what I'm doing and I'm gonna go for it on my own. And I couldn't warn you more because these insurance companies know that you're not an attorney, know that you don't know the ins and outs of personal injury, and they will exploit your weaknesses to the highest detriment of yourself and offer you low money, and you will, unbeknownst to you, be taking something that uh, you deserve much more for. So always hire competent legal representation. Number two is having bad documentation in your file, and that can come from your MRIs, your chiropractic, your dental if you need it, um, surgeries, et cetera, et cetera. Having good notes, physicians that uh, take good notes can properly document, properly show the insurance company that, hey, this person has a serious injury and they need to be compensated accordingly. Number three is having bad insurance. So what do I mean when I mean bad insurance? I mean not properly having enough insurance to protect yourself when somebody hits you and they don't have enough insurance. So this in the legal field is called uninsured or underinsured motorist coverage, UM is the term. So if you can afford uh, UM insurance, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you go out and get UM insurance. I have it, which protects me and my family if I'm hit by somebody without a license, with very minimum coverage, their coverage lapsed. For some reason, their insurance company is not paying, your uninsured motorist coverage would kick in and take care of your medical um, and pain and suffering and things of that nature. So uninsured motorist coverage is a great way to get the proper valuation for your claim. Number three, I'm sorry, four, is hiring the right attorney. So when that means coming out and hiring the right attorney, what do you need to look at? You need to look at somebody who's competent, who can communicate, not just with you, but with the insurance company, as well as somebody who actually goes to court. Um, and why do I think this is so important? Because these insurance companies, they know who doesn't do anything and they know the people that are in court and they know the people that they can't push around. They know the people that they can't just give low numbers to and have them take it. So you need to get an attorney like myself who's in court all the time, who's taking depositions, who's fighting summary judgments, who's uh, ready to set things for trial if need be, because these insurance companies do look at your attorney when evaluating your claim. So competent, legal representation like myself um, is very important to getting the right representation and settlement goals that you're looking for. So top four reasons, not having representation, bad documentation, not having that UM coverage, and then hiring the right attorney. So keep your questions coming, Instagram, Facebook, email, text, stop me in the street. Um, keep them coming, I love answering it. So. This has been another edition of Ask an Attorney Friday with your personal injury attorney, Derek Bernstein. See you guys next Friday. Have a good weekend.